Hello everyone, welcome back to this channel. So in this video, we're going to look into what is electromagnetic wave and what are the waves that are considered to be electromagnetic wave and also the applications of this wave. In chapter 13, we learn about dispersion of light and we know that light is, consists of um, different colors. So when white light travels through a prism like that, different colors of light will appear. And this is because each color is refracted by a different amount. So by using this theory, William Herschel, a scientist, he was studying sunlight when he passed through a prism, and he tries to measure what is the temperature of this light. All right. So these are the lights, and you can see that from violet all the way to red, the temperature is rising. And he discovered that there is an invisible light here that's causing even more temperature rise. And from this experiment, William Herschel discovered some an invisible light beyond the red color spectrum, and he called it infrared radiation. Infrared means um, beyond, all right? So that's how infrared is discovered. Whereas the other scientist, called Johann Ritto, he discovered ultraviolet light when experimenting with the effects of various light source on silver chloride paper. So what he discovered eventually is known as the ultraviolet light. Ultra means beyond, meaning there's another invisible light beyond this violet color. And that's what um, all the scientists discovered, the infrared and ultraviolet. So just like sound, light can have different pitches, different frequency and also wavelength. In sound, frequency represents the pitch, whereas in light wave like that, frequency could determine its color and also its position in the electromagnetic spectrum. So let's look into what exactly is like um, electromagnetic wave. It is a transverse wave. And the scientist James Clerk Maxwell described like as a small inclination in electric and also magnetic field. And I want to show you this picture called electromagnetic spectrum. And by the end of 20th century, physicists had discovered or artificially produced several other types of electromagnetic wave to complete this thing called the electromagnetic spectrum. We have our visible light, meaning light is also an electromagnetic wave. And both William Herschel and also Johann Vredo, they discovered ultraviolet and infrared, which is at the right and left. So these are the other wave, like radio wave, microwave, X-ray, gamma ray, they are also in the electromagnetic spectrum. So I have to modify it. So here should be microwave here. And for this diagram here, you do need to remember the order in which they appear. So for instance, radio wave here, they have the longest wavelength, but they have the short, um, lowest frequency. Whereas the other end, gamma ray, they have the shortest wavelength but they do have the highest frequency. So one way I would um, remember this is this mnemonic, which meant invented very unusual X-ray gun. So each, the first character of each word give you the order. R stand for um, radio wave, microwave, infrared, visible light, ultraviolet, x-ray, gamma ray. So that's how I remember the order which they appear. So let's look into some of the application of this electromagnetic wave. I won't go details into it because I think they are just facts. Radio wave broadcast radio and television signals, wireless data transfer such as RFID. Whereas microwave, we have our microwave oven, microwave absorbed by molecule in food causing heating. Satellite television broadcasting, transmit mobile signals. And here is their wavelength. You can see that radio wave, they have very, very long wavelength. Infrared radiation, something that we use in remote control, grill and toaster, vein scanner, security alarms. Visible light, photography, photosynthesis, optical instrument. Ultraviolet is used by forensic scientists to find evidence at crime scene. Sterilized water and medical equipment. Whereas X-ray is something that we are more familiar with, medical imaging, security scanners, gamma ray, kill cancerous cells used by engineers to look for cracks. 
I didn't elaborate on each of them because I think that will make the video very lengthy. Feel free to Google yourself if you need to do it. All right, so here are some of the electromagnetic hazards, meaning the dangers of using these radiation. For infrared, it will cause some burning, ultraviolet, it might damage skin cells. X-ray and gamma ray, they might cause cell mutation because what they do is that they mutate your gene to cause, um, to cause mitosis. Um, that leads to tumor. Microwave, but um, when you use microwave oven, do make sure that no radiation is leaking out, even though they are less harmful, but it's still harmful. So um, for this chapter specifically, we're going to look into how electromagnetic wave is used for communication. In other words, how they use to transmit data. So the two satellites, we learn about two different satellites, the geostationary satellites, in which there are type of satellites that can cover a huge area on the Earth. And they are located far beyond um, the Earth. They are located very tall. And they are powerful to transmit large amount of data, make it possible for tel satellite television and phone. They can travel fast and long distance, but it's very difficult to have a conversation using this type of satellites. Therefore, we have another satellite which is um, located lower than the geostationary. Um, there's no delay in communication because um, they are not located not very far. They cannot transmit data as fast. Therefore, they are not suitable for television transmission. So I did some research to compare both. Um, geostationary satellites orbit at high altitude, meaning they can cover a huge area on Earth. And they are suitable for uninterrupted communication, but might have high latency, meaning um, it could be a delay. But the good thing is that we don't need many of them because they can cover a large area. Whereas in the low Earth orbits, because they travel at low altitude, they cannot co um, cover all, the whole Earth. Therefore, we need many of them as compared to um, geostationary satellites. So these are just some pros and cons of both types of satellites. Um, the other form of communication that use electromagnetic wave, mobile phone and micro um, wireless internet, they use microwave, um, Bluetooth, radio wave, and also optical fiber, they use infrared radiation and also visible light. Remember, uh, total internet reflection. That's how they work in optical fiber. So lastly, we'll look into how electromagnetic wave allow mobile phones to work. So if I were to say something to my mobile phone, I call someone. What my voice will first be recorded as an analog signals, which represent you know how my volume and pitch is, and after that, it will be com converted to electrical signal, looks like that. So these electrical signals in computer science, they are basically just zero and one. Okay, zero and one. To using an analog to digital converter. So this sound wave will be converted into a digital signal. And the digital signal is carried along optical fiber. So they will be carried using optical fibers. And the signal will pass through more generators to clean up to remove any distortion. And when the data re reaches the receiver, it will again be converted into analog signal using analog digital to analog converter. And when you pick up the phone, the sound waves amplified and played via this phone speaker. So there's one step there that might raise question, why do we need to convert the, our sound to digital before we transmit, right? So the, this is the reason, because digital signal can be transmitted more rapidly and more accurately than the analog signals. So here are some of the past questions before we end the video. Um, what are parts X, Y, Z? So these are the wave in the electromagnetic spectrum. Radio, remember, rich men invented very unusual X-ray gun. Men, X stands for microwave. So the A and C is non-correct. Invented very unusual will be ultraviolet. Why will be ultraviolet? So here we did. So the answer is D, in which the last one should be gamma ray. So let's look into the next question. Which sentences about infrared is correct? They are used to treat cancerous tumor, which is incorrect. They can be used to make imaging. So these are for gamma ray. This is X-ray instead. They are used for cooking, might be true. They are used to send communication signal, which might not be true. That should be microwave. So the answer is C. Last but not least, which of the following options show the correct speed for electromagnetic wave? So remember, um, like is an electromagnetic wave. 
and all electromagnetic waves act like like they travel at the same speed which is 3 times 10 to the power of 8 the keyword here the unit meter per second you might be tempted to choose b but do know that the unit is not the same um, i'm gonna the incorrect answer here should be c because my meter is converted to cm you got 3 times 10 to the power of 10. so 10 is the correct answer and that's the end of this video this is a relatively shorter one do let me know if you are confused and you need more content. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.